A man's wife is murdered. The killer smashed in the back window, both for entry and for distraction. He treads carefully around the dog, who stares at the killer. She comes down the stairs to see what it is. It's often the dog. She enters into the kitchen to find out. The killer stands behind her and caves her skull in. You're ready. His fate turned on him. He lost an ear, shot himself in the chest. The very thing that gave him everything took it all away. You've had a long run of luck yourself, haven't you? What if I was to tell you that right now, this very second in fact, I could end that run of good fortune. Do I need to pay you now? You want to have my girl and run off? No, I, I thought I'd meet her first, that's all. What, you want fucking Miss Ward or something? No, 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 I, I, I just thought I'd... You pay me now. Hey boss, you hear me? We're here to start a business. We can't do that if people can find us easily. We sneak around, make our phases known, get people to fear us. Then we step it up. Until we're filthy fucking rich, we make this work. It's all part of the game. I like you, Jackson. You always have. You're a good man. At least I thought you were until now. But now, what you're doing is feeding me a complete load of bullshit. But I know your type. You're nothing. You're just a scumbag. Oh, you think you're a big man. You think you're tough. Bowling about the estate all day, dealing drugs to kids and lowlifes. I mean, I tell you to get a job, but who'd want to employ a worthless piece of shit with a record? Oh, you've upset me now, Gavin. You've cut me deep. I don't know what I'm going to do with myself. If anything else happens, I'm coming after you. My grandson, Charlie, he counts the number of times I say fuck when he comes to see me. Yeah. Of course, he drives my daughter fucking furious, but at least I'm teaching the little shit how to count. Kid, kid. Yeah, he's a good kid. Stops my daughter from snorting God knows what.